Morning, Dan. It's Sunday morning, April 14th, day before tax day. And uh, my faithful sidekick, Rosinante, and I uh, are out for a walk. And um, it is painfully beautiful out this morning. There's no wind. Uh, it's it's uh, maybe 11 degrees right now. And it is just gorgeous. Very dry, um, i.e. not just as in the ground is dry, but it's um, very low humidity. Apparently we have fire danger later today because we're going to be getting high winds as well. Um, but one thing that I've been doing in the mornings when I go out and walk Sadie is I don't put my hearing aids in. Um, and you can see that line of pine trees over there. These last several mornings it has been um it's been quite dry it's been warm um but you had that cool air from the night on your face but you can smell the warmth of the previous day in the pine trees and the pine needles um, i just had such a uh, a memory hit me from college uh, when I was a camp counselor at Camp Dudley, which is a YMCA camp in White Pass on the eastern slopes of White Pass. Um, and I was a camp counselor there in 1989, maybe? Um, just after my freshman year, yeah, it was just after my freshman year. So no, that was um, 1987, summer of 1987. And TJ, you probably remember TJ, right? TJ was a counselor. Lisa was a counselor as well, as well as a group of others. But we had a camp council, uh, excuse me, a camp director named Larry Lev. Larry had, I don't know, two or three kids, maybe young kids. I think he was in his late thirties at the time. Um, really, man, he was a great guy. And we all loved working for Larry. Uh, and so a few days ago, like I said, I was walking and I just had this, something about the smells, the dryness, the cool morning, the warm air from the previous day, trapped in the pine trees, reminded me of Camp Dudley, of course, on those, uh, that eastern slopes of the Cascades, you've got a lot of pine, it's, it's quite dry, and uh, it reminded me of walking from the cabins where the, where the campers and the counselors stayed <clears throat> to, um, to the dining hall or down to the, to the lake. And, um, yeah, it was just, it just such a powerful memory. I ended up writing an email, uh, to Lisa talking about that memory and how wonderful it was and, and how wonderful Larry was. And I was like, ah, I wonder what, you know, wonder what Larry's doing today. Last I heard he, he was working in Chicago, but this was good Lord, 20 years ago, maybe 25 years. It was a long time ago. And so I Googled him. I figured a man like Larry Lev has got to be out there in Google land. Um, and I found out that he died in the summer of 2019, uh, unexpectedly. I don't know how uh, he was um, ostensibly retired in Sarasota, Florida, though he did a lot of work down there for charitable organizations. Um, and it was, it was really, it was one of those things of, you know, how, how do you react to something that had occurred five years previously for most people, but for me, it only just now happened. So I reached out, you know, I, I told Lisa about it. I sent the obituary to TJ as well. I haven't heard anything from Lisa, but TJ wrote back and we've had a couple of exchanges. Um, 
and I, I feel like I want to reach out to his wife, Laura, uh, again, even though it's five years later, just talk about the memories. I mean, one of the, one of the best memories is Larry had one leg that was like quite a bit shorter than the other. And he wore a shoe with a big uh, lift in it, you know, almost like a platform shoe. And we had a, like a Halloween day at camp and I dressed up as Larry. I put a mustache because he had this big black mustache. It was awesome mustache. And I put a big lift in one of my shoes and Larry just thought that was the funniest thing. Um, and um, Larry, uh, his family is also is Jewish. He's Jewish, I guess. And I remember we had a, um, I don't know what the event was. We had something at camp. I don't know if there was a wedding or something, but anyway, that's, they put, they ended up putting a glass into a napkin and stomped on it with the, you know, the exclamation of L'chaim. Um, I mean, I, I learned a lot that summer about all sorts of things, a lot of culture. Um, and um, a lot of things I just didn't know anything about. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, you just think back on those times in, our, in all of our lives where we have somebody who really made an impact on our lives. Uh, and Larry was certainly one of those guys uh, for me. So um, that's all. I just wanted to give you a morning hello and just tell you how beautiful it is here right now. Um, Sadie and I are dawdling on our walk. <laughs> well, yeah, we're both dawdling. And um, later today, I am going to golf with Lucas and Steven out of Bridges. Yeah, hopefully the wind doesn't pick up too much, but it probably will. But we tee off at 945. It's going to be... A really beautiful day, and I hope you and Sarah also have a day full of walkies and light bulbs and linens. That is my story, and we are going to stick to it.